Now to Georgia, where voters are seizing on the importance of the Senate race there as well. Voters are breaking early voting records this midterm election, and many say their vote could determine who controls the Senate come January. Let's go live to Atlanta, where correspondent Brooke Schaefer is standing by this morning. Good morning, Brooke. Yeah, hey, Mitch, good morning. People on the ground here in Georgia, voters have been telling us they are taking this seriously. They know that the stakes are high, especially in that Senate race here in Georgia between Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock and Republican Herschel Walker. And already, as you mentioned, voters here in Georgia are turning out in record numbers. About 2.5 million people have already voted early here in Georgia. That is close to the number of early votes they saw here during the 2020 presidential election. So voters in Georgia exceeded expectations, setting an all-time record for early votes in a midterm. People who live here, again, telling us they understand that control of Congress is on the ballot here in their state. Oh, very seriously. Every vote counts. Every vote matters. You could definitely tell the motivation's up to vote. It's close. You know, flip a coin, uh, especially the, the Senate race, I think, is razor-thin margins right now. And, you know, it's just going to depend on which way the wind is blowing on Tuesday. That Senate race, one of the most closely watched races, not only here in Georgia, of course, but also across the country. It is still neck and neck between Warnock, a pastor, and Walker, a former football player. The two will travel the state again today, as they did over the weekend, looking, of course, to energize those people who haven't voted yet, while also taking their final stabs at each other. He could razzle-dazzle you on the football field. But we're on, we're on a different field right now. And the people of Georgia need a different kind of champion. In two short years, he's given us high inflation. In two short years, he's given us this border that's wide open. Also this morning in Cobb County, just outside Atlanta here, election officials there are apologizing this morning. They said that they investigated and discovered more than a thousand absentee ballots were never mailed out. The director of elections there in Cobb County said that the critical error, as she called it, happened because of some new staff who weren't following procedures. Election staff over in Cobb County overnighted a handful of those absentee ballots out, but they are urging anybody who maybe didn't get their ballot to try and vote in person if they can. Mitch? That's their solution? You wanted an absentee ballot? You couldn't get one, now come vote in person when you needed an absentee ballot? Yeah, certainly not the answer I think a lot of people want to hear. So here's sort of the breakdown of it. They said there were a little more than 1,000 absentee ballots they discovered were never mailed out. They overnighted about half of those, but still this morning there are close to 500 people, they say, might not have their ballots yet. So the elections staff in Cobb County, they are reaching out to people. They said they're trying to call them, get a hold of them, but... Again, election day is tomorrow, so they're kind of running out of time. Again, they're calling this a critical error and really apologizing to voters this morning. Oh, my goodness. I do not think that you have heard the end of that story. That is Brooke Schaefer. She's live in Atlanta for us this morning. It's a good thing we have her there. You're going to hear some more about that one. Thank you, Brooke. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.